Hello, 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 beautiful beings of love and light. Natasha Monique here, and this is the June 2019 weekly reading for fire signs. This is for the week of June 9th to June 15th, and this is for my Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius. Be sure to watch your sun, moon, and rising sign readings just to get a full spectrum of this week. Going on this week, we kick this week off, well, the 10th is the first quarter, and then we go into that waxing gibbous moon phase, and it's all about growth, about um, coming to that point where you're really evaluating what you're focusing on, and then how can you grow that focus even more. So that is your focus for this month, is that growth on your goal. How are you growing your intentions? How are you growing those seeds that you planted? for the new moon in Gemini back on the third of the month. And that is really our overall theme for the month of June is focus, laser focus. And really bringing in the light and embracing that light part of us. It, and embracing the light does not mean to negate the shadow. It doesn't mean to ignore the shadow part of you. It just means to embrace those aspects of yourself that enable you to shine bright. We do have the summer solstice in June where the light is the highest and using that overextension of light can actually help us to balance the shadow because if we're living in our shadow, we need that overextension of light to really bring it up and make them match. So yeah. I usually don't get so much verbiage before the sign readings, but fire signs, you needed to hear that. You needed to hear that, my fire signs. I'm using Thoth Tarot and Work Your Light Oracle. And as per usual, I'll be, I will be pulling five cards, mind, body, soul, and spirit. And then the Oracle card is our message from the universe. So let's get started on this week's reading for the fire signs for June 9th to June 15th, 2019. that a lot of internal work for you fire signs a lot of the messages all the cards are reversed actually every single card that I just pulled is reversed every single one okay and I see why we have those all reversed because the things that we need to focus on are things that make us a brighter, lighter, and more expansive human being. I say us when I talk about the fire signs because if you don't know, now I'm telling you my sun is an Aries and my rising is a Sagittarius. So I have two fire signs right there in jump with me. My moon is in Libra, just to put that out there too. But yeah, I've got a lot of fire energy in my chart, so I pay super extra attention to what I pull for the fire signs. So our message from the universe is priestess. How are you being called to step up and lead? How are you coming into, okay, my window is given a glare. Let me see if I can get it in a spot. There we go. There it is. There you can see it. How are you being called to step up and lead? How are you being called to do you true, to be you true? to be the lightest, brightest, and most expansive version of yourself. How are you being called up to lead? To lead. And this can be leading your tribe or leading yourself. Because sometimes we, we're so good to hold other people accountable for what they should be doing. And you know how we do fire signs. We the boss. We want to tell everybody what to do. You need to do this. You need to do that. You need to get this together and that together. Are you applying that information to yourself? Are you following your own advice? So this priestess card in conjunction with the other cards we have in this reading is not just how are you being called to step up and lead other people. Let me see if I, there it is. That's that angle. But how are you being stepped up to call and lead yourself? How are you leading yourself? Are you holding yourself accountable? Are you following your own advice? Are you doing you true and following that truth? Think about that for this week. So mentally, we have the Princess of Wands reversed in our mental. The Princess of Wands reversed is letting us know that 
it's okay. It's okay. It's okay for us to not capitalize on every little itty bitty idea that we have. Because sometimes we can have this grandiose idea and it just not work out and then we beat ourselves up and do nothing. It's okay if every idea doesn't produce gold. Know that you still need to have ideas because you are still valid. So the Princess of Wands reminds you that your passions and your ideas are valid even if they don't give the desired results. So next for our body, we have Adjustment. I love this card. Which in traditional tarot, you know, um, justice and strength are reversed. Sometimes one is 8 and one is 11. In the fourth deck, 8 Adjustment more corresponds to the Justice card. Right, that's what that's like, and we have that reversed. That's again, not everything we think of spews gold, and we have to be fair with ourselves when that happens. We have to not judge ourselves too harshly and think down upon ourselves when what we've been focusing on is not manifesting what we want to manifest. All right, your results are feedback, so use those results as a way to say, Okay, I need to tweak this in this way, shape, or form, and get to tweaking. And then do it again. Do it again. Don't stop the ideas just because they're not giving you the desired results. You just need to tweak them and come up with more shit. That's what you need to do. We've got the Seven of Wands reversed in our emotions. This is an internal battle. A battle within ourselves. Thinking that, I said wands, right? Seven of Wands. In the back of my mind, I thought I said swords. I shouldn't have said swords. If I did, my bad. I meant wands. I might have said Seven of Wands and just, okay, anywho. This is like an internal battle. That's what this is. This is a battle with the self. Telling yourself, I can, I can't, I will, I won't, I should, I shouldn't. No, 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 no. Stop fighting yourself. Stop battling with yourself. You're being your own worst enemy. So make sure that you're not being your own worst enemy this week. That you are capitalizing on your gifts and knowing that your gifts are not always going to fly out the handle and be super fantastic, wonderful, great, and swell as soon as you spew it out. Sometimes shit doesn't go the way in which you want it to go or the way in which you think it should go and that's okay. Stop beating yourself up over it. Stop beating yourself up. We're, we're having a lot of like self-loathing going on like knock that the fuck off knock it off because you're doing the best you can you're doing what you can with what you have and you're being grateful for what you have if you're not then that's what you need to do you need to do the best you can with what you have and be grateful for that be grateful for that even if it does not produce the results that you need now we've got the three of coins oh discs I'm sorry, in the thought, it's discs. Three of discs reversed in your higher self. This is like a, you can do it card. Every time I see this, that's what I think. I hear that, you can do it, because you can do it. We oftentimes think that we need to have this handout, this helping hand, this individual, this resource to help us in order for us to do things. And our higher selves are letting us know that, mm, no, some things you are better at doing alone. So stop fighting yourself because you, you can do things on your own. You can do it by yourself. You really can. You can wreck shop and handle business on your own. So do that. Handle business on your own. This is the week for you to really get inside yourself, forgive yourself, trust yourself, and make decisions for, by, and with yourself. And see how they turn out. If they don't turn out like you had hoped they would turn out, you tweak it, and then you do it again. You do it again. You don't think that because I had this one failure, oh, now I'm fucked and screwed, I can't do it. Throw my hands up. I'm done. Not doing it anymore. Not doing it. No. That's that give up mentality. You have the resources that you need to laser focus your goals. And that's the theme for June. Laser focus. Be focused, man. And you and you alone need to be focused. You've got to be focused. You can't depend on or rely on someone else to make you focused or hold you accountable. Especially if you're the one who holds other people accountable. 
turn that energy inward and hold yourself accountable. All right, my lovelies, please do like, subscribe, and share, and I'll see you next week. I love you. Mwah.